Um, just means you have to go through. That means you're just gonna want to listen, so I can go through this very quickly. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, well, you're just gonna stay in here long, so I'll just talk a little bit longer. All right. Um, what we're going to do, Amber, for this one is, ladies and gentlemen, we see a lot of fractions, right? A lot, a lot of fractions. And the main important thing I want you guys to understand is when we have fractions, one way we can get rid of the fractions is multiplying by the denominators. Let me just go back to an algebra one problem. If I said 1 fourth plus um, 2 thirds x equals 1 sixth, all right? What we did to this is we just say, oh my, why would we want to do all these fractions, right? You had to subtract 1 fourth and then divide by 2 thirds. This was a hard problem, right? A lot of fraction operations. But one thing we learned to do was multiply by the least common denominator or LCM. And what you determine for all of your denominators, the LCM is equal to 12. So what we do is we multiply everything by 12. Because as long as you do whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other side of the equation, you still have equivalent equations, right? So when you multiply by 12, you get 3 plus, this goes down to uh, 4. 4 times 2 is 8x. And this reduces down to 2. Now you have an equation that looks like that without fractions. Is that a lot easier to solve? Yes. So the main important thing is when you have multiple fractions, if you multiply by the LCM, you're in good shape. So what we have here is we need to determine what is our LCM. So let's look at every single denominator I have. All right, And if I simplify this, because that can be factored, r squared plus 2r I factor out an r, I'm left with r times r plus 2. So my LCM for this problem is going to be what? r plus 2. What else? R. r. So ladies and gentlemen, now, we know that when you multiply everything on an equation, you're going to keep equivalent equations. But if I said 1 half, what do you have to multiply by a fraction by to keep it equivalent? The same number on the? top and the bottom. As long as you multiply the same number on the top and bottom, you have equivalent equations. So what I'm going to want to do for this problem is multiply everything times my LCM. So r times r plus 2. I have to multiply it by this one. r times r plus 2. And I have to multiply it over here. r times r plus 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I notice here is my r's divide to 1. Here, my r plus 2 divide to 1. Here, my r times r plus 2's um, minus out. So therefore, now I have r plus 2 times r plus 6 minus r minus r. And then divided by r squared, stay please, 4r plus 3. I'll make this very, very quick. Now, I need to factor this. I'm sorry. Actually, I don't need to factor this out. Let's now, excuse me, I'll get you the thing. Excuse me, I'll, no, I, you'll get it on a second. So I have r squared plus 4r. I know you got to go. Actually, if you just want to go, because you had to go to your class, if you just want to go down that way, that's fine. You can go to your I class. Believe. OK. So now what we can do is we factor this. So can I factor this? Of course I can. Oh. All right, never mind. I got to multiply this out. Sorry. No. So especially for that comment, right? So now we multiply this out, and we get r squared plus 8r plus 12 minus r, which now 8r minus r is going to give you 7r. So therefore, I have r squared plus 7r plus 12 divided by r squared plus 4r plus 3. So now that I've completed this, now I factor out both sides, and I get r plus 3 times r plus 4 divided by r plus 3 divided by r plus 1. r's plus 3's divide out to 1. So my final answer is r plus 3 divided by r plus 1. r plus 4. r plus 4. r plus 4. Thank you.